when the camera's rolling, your heart pounds. It's thrilling to me. Being kind of the end for Brett Favre, who was, you know, at the time, they're everything. Uh, did you see what I guess the coaching staff saw in, in Aaron Rodgers? No question. Yeah, no game? question. No question. I think we 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 all knew it, man. And I think the the one thing was too. It was like you know, Brett uh, for those couple of years. You know, he didn't know if he was coming back or not coming back, uh, and so everybody was kind of you know figuring out. Then you know, what's Brett gonna do? But in the back of our mind, we were like. If he if he leaves, we, I think we're we gonna be good. all right, man. Cause we we got a dude over there that's sitting behind it, man. They can can chuck that thing around, man. And he had, I mean, you talk about a live arm and throwing on throwing throwing dimes on the run and accurate as ever, man. We Same. definitely we definitely saw it. What was the dynamic like uh, between? What, what was there? Was it smooth or what was that dynamic like between Favre and Rodgers? Yeah, I think those two had their friction early on. I remember a couple of years ago when um, the, the Steelers brought in a backup for Ben Roethlisberger, and he was mad because they brought in a backup. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, man, I'm still here. Why we, we don't need a backup quarterback? Um, I think they I think they had that dynamic, and, and I think, uh, you know, Brett took a little bit of offense to that. I think Brett said something along the lines of, you know, he don't need to, you know, help the next guy, um, you know, that, that you bring in. You know, his thought was, man, I'm the quarterback. You brought him in, you help him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. Um, so y you didn't like, for, for me, you know, being on the defensive side, you really don't see all that goes on with those guys because they have their meetings or whatnot. But I know they did have, uh, you know, a, a rocky start, uh, which I think uh, since then have kind of mended those, uh, those problems. Mm. So is Aaron Rodgers' first season 2008? Is that his first year? His first quarterback? year start, yep. Uh, so there's no playoffs that year. Right. Uh, 09, you guys uh, losing the wild card to the Cardinals. 2010, the road to the Super Bowl. A 10-6 and six season, but get hot at the right time. You guys beat the Eagles in the wild card, Falcons in the division. Uh, NFC Championship, you beat the Bears, and then you face the Steelers in the Super Bowl. Talk to us about your second time around in the Super Bowl. What's the second time around like for you? Yeah, I finally got back, man. You know, it's hard to get there. That's, that's what I learned. <laughs> it's hard to get to that Super Bowl. Hell yeah. Um, but, you know, we were coming off a season, you mentioned 2009. That was our best team, actually. Uh, and we, we screwed that off in the playoffs against Arizona. But we came back, you know, that next season, man, knowing that, you know, we, we had basically the same players. Man, we, we got to get it done this particular season. And then what's crazy is that throughout that season, injury after injury hit that team, man. We ended up having... 16 players, I think it was, on IR. And I'm talking about some dogs. You guys know Jermichael Finley. The guys that were playing. Yeah, Jermichael right? Finley was our tight end, man. He was a matchup nightmare for people. Uh, he ended up getting hurt. So we, we had some real dogs uh, that got hurt. Um, and so we kind of we kind of limped along a little bit, you know, through the season. And I remember we had to win our last two games just to have the opportunity to get in. But then we also needed some help. So what was crazy is that um, – I don't know if you guys remember that punt return that Deshaun uh, Jackson ran back against Jackson New York. Had, yep. We the we Giants. needed them to win that game, and they won the game. Mm -hmm. Of course, we had to win our two. Yeah, but and that punt return was fucking insane. It was crazy, by right? The way. Shit bounced yeah. around, and he took yeah. off and took it to the yeah. house. Yeah, you know. So I mean, this 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 game is crazy that way, and so we kind of we kind of mm -hmm. you know we but we go in we limp through the season, but we go into the playoffs hot because we beat uh, we had to beat New York, we had to beat Chicago. And then we're the road team. We're the sixth seed. But our confidence at that point was so high. It was so high, man. We knew it didn't, it didn't matter. We just said to ourselves, man, if they let us in, it's on. And uh, we, 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 we ran through that thing, man. Mm. So what was it like to finally be able to call yourself a, a Super Bowl champion after, you know, thinking you were going to get it the first time, it doesn't go your way, the yeah. second time around is the charm. What's yeah. that like? Yeah, you know, I got a tattoo, man, after that, man with the Lombardi trophy that says my rightful place in history. That's, that's, that's how I feel about that. You know, I, I, I just, I could never accept, you know, just like I mentioned college that I couldn't win, I couldn't leave without a championship. I couldn't play the NFL. I couldn't play my career, man, and not have a championship. I, I just, I, I would have never accepted the fact that I played how many other years and never got to the show and won it. Like that would have been, that would have been unacceptable, you know? So, 
um, to finally, you know, be able to hold up the Lombardi Trophy, man, and, and get that win, man, that was everything. 2011, Aaron Rodgers goes crazy. You guys go 15-1. and one. He throws for 45 touchdowns, only six picks, 4,600 yards. As a someone who played offense early in your career, what was it like to be able to sit back and just watch this dude every single day do what he did? He's a monster, man. He's a monster. I think, I think it was – it's uh, – it's one of those things where for our team, we became too reliable on that. Um, I think that I think that our our staff even did that, you know, as far as not mm. bringing in, you know, some proper proper pieces defensively to keep up with what he was doing offensively. So we always felt like, mm. you know, for us on our, on our end, if things weren't going well, all right, we got a rod. He's going to bring it home. But, you know, right. after a while, man, that, 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 that wears off. And when you talk about that year, he, he, he goes off, right? We still get to the, to, to, um, the uh, game against the Giants, and there, there the Giants are again. And, and they, they, they beat us again on their way to the Super Bowl. So, uh, but, but sitting back and, and, and being able to watch him, man, it's, it's like an art, it's an art form, man. It's watching art, you know, watching him be able to just, you know, paint all over that field, man. I, I love watching that dude play.